My name is Ron Mochizuki, and I am a physician specializing in physical medicine and rehabilitation. What you're about to see is an exercise program designed for anyone dealing with a neuromuscular condition. It is a general exercise approach designed to improve strength, balance, and flexibility. Each recommended exercise is presented with three levels of difficulty, depending upon the limitations that you are experiencing in general or a particular day. The first level is the easiest to complete. These exercises are performed in the most stable position while you are sitting or well supported. The second level is more challenging. These exercises are performed while standing and maintaining balance with one hand providing additional support. The third level is the most challenging. Exercises are performed while standing with minimal or no support. This requires the greatest amount of effort and therefore stimulation for muscle strength, flexibility, and balance. There are 10 exercises making up your exercise routine. We recommend performing each exercise for up to 30 seconds and then rest for one minute. If you cannot perform an activity for at least 15 seconds, go back to the previous level. If you cannot perform the exercise in level one, remove that movement from your exercise routine. As always, confer with your physician before beginning any exercise program. This program is an independent exercise program. It requires self-monitoring of your abilities and your response to these exercises. Like any physical activity and stimulation, your body's physical response, for example, spasticity, will be unique to you. Remember, exercise is good medicine, and power plate is a great way to exercise. The single leg stand is an excellent exercise to work on coordination, balance, and stability. The first level is very stable. The second level requires additional effort, and you'll notice that you will feel less stable, which forces your muscles to contract and to make many small adjustments to maintain balance. The last level is very challenging and is a great workout for your balance and sense of position. Make sure you do this series on both the right and left legs. The squat series is a great warm-up exercise and also a great workout for your quads and glutes. Notice that the lower you squat, the more intense the workout and the greater the exercise. Listen to your body and let it guide your motion. This exercise is also an excellent way to work on balance. One of the great benefits of power plate is that it helps to lengthen and stretch tight muscles and tendons. The hamstring and shoulder exercise provides a gentle stretch to multiple muscles, including the shoulders, which can help with overhead tasks, the back, and the hamstrings. Note that the straighter you keep your legs during this exercise, the more intense the stretch to the hamstrings. Keep these stretches at a comfortable level. The calf stretch focuses on the calf muscles and ankle tendons. Levels two and three should be performed twice, first with the knees straight, and then with the knees slightly bent. The Texas two-step mimics a walking motion, but focuses the workout on the muscles of the inner thigh, outer thigh, and gluteals, which are critical to safe walking. This is an excellent workout for dynamic balance or balancing when moving. Ankle mobility has two purposes. First, it strengthens the calf muscles, in particular the muscles that raise the toes and front of the foot so you don't shuffle your feet while walking. And secondly, it works on maintaining free and comfortable ankle motion.
The leg swing works the area of the hip in two ways. It strengthens the muscles of the inner thigh and outer thigh. It also works on the range of motion of the hip joint. Finally, it is an excellent workout for balance. The biceps curl takes advantage of increased muscle recruitment that occurs with vibration. The workout to the biceps is isometric, so the strengthening of the muscle depends on how much you pull against the straps. The supported push-up strengthens the chest muscles, the triceps, and shoulder muscles. As you increase the level of exercise, you will also notice a nice stretch to the hamstrings and calf. The front hip stretch is designed to stretch out the front of the thigh. You'll know you're doing it correctly if you feel the stretch in the leg that is placed backwards. Keep your upper body as upright as possible to maximize this stretch.